Hey guys, how's it going? Daniel here. So earlier this week, I was lucky enough to be able to purchase the iPad on Boxing Day. And I've always wanted an iPad just because I've always wanted to know why it's uh, really popular. But also I want to know how I can use this uh, piece of technology uh, for my work setup. Uh, whenever I'm creating videos or just need to do other work that has nothing to do with videos as well. And so I decided to get of course the latest one, the sixth generation, so 2018 with Apple Pencil support um, and the Slim Folio by Logitech. So this is a simple setup that I'm, uh, I'm using uh, here. So uh, let's talk about first the, heart, the product uh, that I'm using the Bluetooth keyboard with uh, these little protection here, the folio. So like I said, it's made by Logitech um, and it's Bluetooth keyboard, um, which actually works really easy, uh, really simple. Um, it's supposed to last up to four years, the batteries, uh, but that's only if you use the keyboard for two hours a day. So probably if you use the keyboard a little bit more than two hours a day, um, it might not last for four years, the batteries but they are interchange interchangeable. So if they run out, you could just take it out and then just buy new ones and then they should last you another, hopefully another four years or so. And then of course, what I like about this little guy here is that it has a little Apple Pencil holder for it. So whenever I'm not using the iPad, of course, I just put the Apple Pencil in there and then it just stays there, the Apple Pencil. It hasn't fallen off ever since I put it on. And then of course, it's easy to take off and, to and put back on as well. So let's talk about now the iPad. So like I said, this is the sixth generation with Apple Pencil support. And when Apple was presenting this uh, product earlier this year and showing it off, um, they were mostly of course hitting the school market uh, since uh, Chromebooks have taken over um, in that area. So Apple has been a little bit behind in that. And this I guess was the answer for them uh, if that uh, this iPad is made for schools and students. But also, I'm not a student no more or anything like that. But I wanted to try this out because, uh, first off, because it's powerful, Apple Pencil support. And like I said, I just want to see how I can use this uh, product in my uh, videos. So I've been using this iPad to take notes. So instead of writing it on the iMac here or anything like that, um, and when I'm on the go, I just take it out and start writing notes. So if I, because I can't bring my iMac to like a coffee shop or anything like that, but I could bring this to a coffee shop and just start writing notes, uh, start thinking of ideas of what type of videos I want to create. Um, so yeah, so it's been really, really fantastic. And then of course using the Apple Pencil has just been really, really cool with some of the apps I've been uh, trying out and drawing stuff and coloring. So yeah, it's just really responsive. Now, of course it's not iPad Pro material, but it does do the work if uh, it does do the work that you need to do depending on what you need it to do. So if you're looking to do hardcore editing, uh, 4K editing or anything like that, this iPad won't be able to handle that. You'll have to go with the uh, iPad Pro. If you're a really pro user, then that's why Apple created the iPad Pro for you guys. But this is just a simple setup, simple uh, iPad that's really powerful, it looks really fantastic, the screen really pops, the colors really pop as well. So now I wanna share with you guys uh, the apps I use on a daily basis and the, my setup I'm rocking here on uh, the iPad. So uh, first thing you'll notice of course is I have uh, the calendar app, uh, default calendar app, nothing too, uh, nothing too fancy the App Store app, the Clock app, uh, Settings app, just press record app. Um, so yeah, just, you know, whenever I need to record my voice or anything like that, I have something that I wanna say, I just go on just press record and just start recording anything that I wanna say. Um, the YouTube app, of course, you know, you gotta watch YouTube on this little screen here when I'm bored or anything like that. Uh, Lightroom CC, so I actually do some editing on my iPad here. So whenever I need to edit photos or anything like that, I just open Lightroom and then it does the work and uh, I use some of that editing to put on my YouTube thumbnails as well. Google News, I love reading the news, so Google News of course. Uh, Carrot Weather, so Carrot Weather is one of my favorite uh, weather apps on the iPhone and then of course I had to download it on the iPad as well. 
Uh, Mac Cache, of course, to keep up with the latest Apple technology. So I always have a Mac Cache there. Dark Room, so you know, Dark Room, I have to have Dark Room there to uh, uh, edit uh, some photos for Instagram so or Twitter. Uh, Rush CC, so I've been playing around with this program. I don't use it that often. I'm still playing around with it. This is Adobe's like quick answer to YouTube creators uh, who just want to edit quick videos and then upload them fast to social media. Uh, the New York Times app, of course, to read the latest news, to breaking news, see what's going around around the world, and just to keep up and inform, informed. Pocket, of course, so whenever I find an article that I want to save, of course, for later, uh, if I'm doing maybe research for my next video, then, of course, I'll have Pocket right there uh, to see the latest article that I want to read or maybe I need inspiration for a new video, so that's why I have Pocket there. Uh, Tweetbot. So Tweetbot, actually, I love Tweetbot on the iPad just because it works really great. It's really fantastic. Um, and it's just my favorite third-party Twitter client on iOS. So on my dock, so my dock, I have the default Twitter app, the main Twitter client app, because, uh, you know, I need to have notifications since they took that away from uh, third-party developers. So that's why I have the Twitter app there. I have Bear. So I use Bear to write my notes down um, and write, like, my notes and just write other uh, stuff that I need to do for uh, making maybe when I'm creating videos or just thinking of ideas, I just go on Bear and just start writing. I have the YouTube Studio app, of course. Um, and then my next folder, my next folder, my next page. Of course, I have just an Apple uh, folder there that holds all the Apple apps there. I have the TSN app, of course, to keep up with the latest sport news. Airmail is my go-to email app uh, for iOS. Uh, the utilities app pretty much just has Google Chrome and Google Home. Uh, the Netflix, of course, app, you know, when I need to watch movies or anything when I want to go. Uh, the Amazon folder, so uh, the Amazon app, and then, of course, the Amazon uh, Echo Spot app as well. Um, the music app, so I have Spotify and Shazam there whenever I want to listen to music. I have this new app I've been playing around with, uh, Capsicum, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, it's just a cool note to do journal productivity app that also shows you the weather as well. Um, the deliveries app to keep track of course of my packages. Uh, Unsplash, so whenever I want to change up my setup uh, with wallpapers of course, I always go to Unsplash to find new wallpapers or I use Valium, if I'm pronouncing that right, I hope. Uh, it's another wallpaper app, really fantastic and some fantastic wallpapers for the iPad. Uh, Nano Leaf, of course, to control the Nano Leaf lights. Uh, the RBC Wallet, Lina Sketch. So I use Lina Sketch to just draw random stuff sometimes, or sometimes I actually do some drawings for my YouTube uh, thumbnail as well. Um, I have the Facebook Creator app. I'm still playing around with Facebook a little bit there. Um, and Lear, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Lear is an RSS uh, feed reader. And of course, on my widget area, I have uh, Carrot Weather, of course. Uh, Google News, um, batteries area, so to see the batteries, uh, how everything is going on, the Shazam, Apple News, series suggestions, and then screen time. So yeah, that's pretty much it on my iPad setup for 2019. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will be doing more videos about the iPad in the future. But yeah, this is the setup I use whenever I'm using the iPad and not using the iMac and just want to just concentrate on uh, maybe just writing stuff or doing some research or anything like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. And as always, I will see you guys later. Peace.